If you're creating your own Sound Trolls campaign setting, you're gonna wanna use setting rules to customize it. In today's video, I'm gonna go over my favorite setting rules for my campaigns. Hello and welcome back to The Savage Goose. My name's Goose, and in today's video, we'll discuss my top five favorite setting rules in the Savage Worlds Adventure Edition Core Rulebook. Savage Worlds is a popular tabletop role-playing game known for its fast-paced action, cinematic gameplay, and flexibility. One of the key features that makes Savage Worlds so unique is its setting rules. These rules allow players and game masters to customize the game to fit any setting or genre they desire. So without further ado, let's jump into my top five favorite setting rules in Savage Worlds Adventure Edition. Savage Worlds is all about fast-paced cinematic action, and the unarmored hero setting rule is perfect for this. If you are running a game where it is uncommon for characters to wear armor regularly, then this rule is perfect for your game. With the unarmored hero setting rule, a wild card that chooses not to wear any armor adds plus two bonus to their soak rolls. Because characters are now more likely to take wounds without armor, this bonus will help ensure that they can soak them. This doesn't prevent player characters from having armor, but does help promote not wearing any. The next setting rule I want to talk about is the no power point setting rule. Savage Worlds uses a unique mechanic called power points to represent a character's magical or supernatural abilities. However, the no power point setting rule allows players to use these abilities without needing power points. Instead, players take a penalty to their spellcasting roll equal to half the total power points cost of the power. That includes the base power point cost, any modifiers, and any limitations. This rule is perfect for games in low magic or gray settings where magic is rare and dangerous. It allows players to cast as much as they want, but they must consider how hard it will be to activate the power successfully. Going along with gritty magic, the dynamic backlash setting rule adds a new level of danger to using magical or supernatural abilities in Savage Worlds. A critical failure on an arcane skill check usually results in a level fatigue. However, if you feel magic should come with a higher price, use this setting rule instead in the corresponding table to determine the backlash for critically failing the roll. Backlash can range from minor inconveniences to significant injuries or worse. It also adds tension and danger to the magical combat, making it more exciting and unpredictable. Continuing the idea of a gritty campaign, the gritty damage setting rule takes things to a whole new level. With this rule, characters suffer more severe injuries when they take damage. Every time characters take a wound, they suffer an injury from the injury table, such as broken bones, shattered limbs, and other serious injuries. This rule makes combat more dangerous, but also more exciting and immersive. It encourages players to think tactically and to use cover and other defensive measures to avoid taking damage. Injury sustained this way are healed when the corresponding wound is healed as well. Finally, going the opposite direction, we have the dumb luck setting rule. Usually when players roll a critical failure, you cannot spend a Benny to re-roll it. The dumb luck setting rule allows players to use their bennies to re-roll even critical failures. If they succeeded on the roll, they still fail in some way. With dumb luck, players can make last second saves, avoid critical failures, and turn the tide of battle. It also adds a element of unpredictability to the game as players never know when a lucky break might come their way. For example, if a player rolls a critical failure when picking a lock and then they decide to re-roll it with dumb luck, they may succeed, but they may also have a consequence on the way, such as breaking their lockpick. These rules are just a small sample of the many options available in this game, and they demonstrate the flexibility and creativity that Savage Worlds is known for. Whether playing in a high fantasy world or a post-apocalyptic wasteland or a swashbuckling pirate adventure, Savage Worlds has the tools to create a unique and exciting game experience. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any other favorite Savage Worlds setting rules, let us know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more Savage Worlds content. And until next time, stay savage.